Marty, here's that memo from Ned Landon. Just one letter, Susan? I thought he was sending us another of his infamous list of changes. Oh, they're right here. Here are the changes. Oh, no. I can't deal with this now. Looking forward to our upcoming review session. As usual, I have a few hundred changes for the show. No doubt I'll generate some more by the time I get to California. Say hello to the team. See you soon. Susan, hold all calls, please. A few hundred changes. Go right in, Mr. Landon. Morning, Tori. Oh, hi, Ned. Hi, Terry. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. And you? Just great. How are you? Okay. Listen, is Marty in? Oh, I think so. Go check with Susan. Okay. See you later. Good morning, Susan. Hi, Ned. Go right on in. He's expecting you. Okay. Marty? Marty? Hello? Oh well, gosh, is anybody here? Well, I guess not. Hmm. Well, Susan, there's nobody there. Gee, Ned, he was in there a minute ago. He must have stepped out just for a moment. Okay, well, tell him I've arrived. I'll go bother Randy Bright for the time being. Is he gone? Hello, Tom. Am I going to see you today? Oh, hi, Ned. I'll see you at the lunch. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Ned. Go right in. He's working on the Horizons film. Okay. Hello, Randy. Hello, Ned. Good to see you. Likewise. Oh, here. I've got something for you. Remember that GE toaster oven we gave you last Christmas? The, the one that didn't work. Well, that's right. But and how about the replacement for that one? Uh, the, the one that didn't work. And the uh, replacement for the replacement for the replacement for that replacement? The ones that didn't work. Well, okay. But here, I brought you another one. This one is hot off the production line and is guaranteed to work. If at first you don't succeed, and if it doesn't, call Black & Decker. Well, thanks, Ned, but what I really want to talk about right now is the Omnimax Horizon script over here, and I think we finally got something that's going to work. Finally, but I want to check with you here. First of all, we're going to start with a fantastic space shuttle liftoff that nobody's seen before, except 13 times. And then over here, we're going to walk into a thermographic landscape of a city, and we're going to fly right through that city, and then do a match dissolve and move across the face of a computer chip. How's that grab you? Well, that's all okay, I suppose, but I've got some footage here, leading edge technology shots that I think would be utterly fantastic in our show. Take a look at this. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? This is the kind of thing people will never forget. Wish I could stay and see the whole glorious reel, but I've got a few dozen people to drop in on. See ya. Yeah? Oh, hi, hi, Ned. Hi, Ned. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? How long can we be here this time? Oh, just a day. Just a day. Oh, good. Well, I'll see you around way. Yep, at the lunch. Okay. See good. you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, X. Oh, hi, Ned. How are you? Just great. Listen, how are you coming on that new sign for the outside of the pavilion? Well, this is the one that uh, Graphics came up with, uh, Horizon, presented by GE. But I don't think you're going to be too happy with this. Mm -hmm. So I came up with another idea. See what you think of this. Horizons, presented by Ned Landon and Company. Well, I think that's just great, X. Now, if we could just get the end Company a little bit smaller. Well, I think we can take care of that. Okay, now if I can only get Welch to go for it. Oh, no problem. He'll like it. Okay, who's next? John Zovich. Marilyn? 
Did John get that body sonics chair I sent out? He hasn't been out of it since. Ned, would you tell me what body sonics really is? Well, body sonics is a, a great invention that we came up with. It's a way of putting a speaker under a seat to give the guest a real jolt in the behind. It's all very technical, of course. I understand the whole thing completely, but I haven't got time to explain it to you now. By the way, Ned, do you have any quarters? Marilyn. Sure, why? Coming. This thing's out of quarters. Ned, these chairs are great. You know, we've decided to put one in every office of Walt Disney Productions. Well, GE will give you 10% of the quarters, John. You could retire on that, but what about Horizons? Well, we'll get the Horizons next year. You mind if I try that chair? Got a quarter? Look, Ned, I don't have any objection to you using the chair, but you're gonna have to ask these other guys. No way, Ned. I've been waiting here for two days in line to try the chair out. Ask Snyder. No way, Ned, no way. <laughs> Ned, yeah, this isn't GE. Check with the boss here. Listen, Ned, as project manager on Horizon, I have some real concerns about body sonics. Are you sure there are no vibration side effects on this pavilion? Doug, I've had our scientists and engineers at the R&D Center do a thorough test of the system, and I can quite confidently say that the body sonics will in no way affect the rest of the pavilion. have to trust me on this one, Doug. I hate to break this up, guys, but lunch is ready in the conference room. Well, can I bring my chair? No! Well, then I'm not coming. See you later, Ned. George, as show designer on Horizons, you of all people should know what the status is of the revisions to the ride track. Well, Ned, you know that the ride track is now shorter because we've reduced the atmosphere from four minutes down to 90 seconds. So the track used to look like, well, you recall how it was. Well, now it's more like this. Well, okay. Now, this, this may seem a little far out, and it's probably as likely of succeeding as a candlelight dinner in Mila Park, but what's the possibility of having the track laid out like this? What, what's this? That's a meatball, George. Well, that's a little hard to swallow. No more than this spaghetti. Incidentally, now what, what's happening with these costumes? Now, how are we gonna make these figures in the show look futuristic? Well, I think that's something we better ask John Hinch. Okay. Well, Ned, uh, that's a good question. I'm supposed to be uh, the vice president of design around here, and uh, I think uh, that's a conception of costume and the, the uh, reaction we'll get from guests, of course, is a very important thing, and I think that we should have something new and pleasant, and, uh, and uh, this kind of thing, of course, is something I'm used to taking care of. So I think, uh, I think we can consider this. Well, I hope you won't mind a suggestion. Now, I'm not a costume designer, but I'm so convinced the wardrobe for Horizons is a crucial item that I've asked Len Vickers to come up with some costume designs. Uh, can we bring in those models now? You're gonna love these, John. <laughs> Ned, this is redundant, Ned. Absolutely redundant. Well, I've already used this color scheme in the main entrance. Well, turn around. The back's even better, John. Oh, God. <laughs> My God. Ned, 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 Ned. <laughs> oh, hi, Ned. How are you? Hi, Ned. You know, we've written songs for Mary Poppins and Small World and Winnie the Pooh and the GE Carousel Theater. But when you said you needed a theme song for the Horizons VIP Lounge, we were a little confused. You know, the first number we did, Ned, uh, Tomorrow's Windows, didn't work for the ride because we thought of the ride as looking through windows into the future. But with a few lyrical changes that we worked up, I think it might work for you. Now listen to this one. Look through the window, 
Ned Landon's window. Enjoy the vista with the VIPs. Turn on the window, Ned's magic window. What sweeping scenery that window sees. The world will envy what GE's got. The greatest vantage point in Epcot. The two times lens is aimed just right to watch the wonders day and night. Look through the window, Ned's way out window, and set your sights upon World Showcase shores. Beneath the window, Ned Landon's window. Oh, wait, horizons open doors. That's great, Ned. I mean, I can see that now with the London Symphony and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. It'll be great. Great. Marty, wake up, Marty. Huh? What? Wake up, Marty. Oh, I was having this terrible nightmare about a General Landon. Oh, well, it's time for your meeting with Ned Landon. Oh, and John Hinch would like you to check these Horizons costumes. <laughs> Hi, Ned. You know, it's always been fun working with you over the years. And I really do want to thank you for the help you've given me during my career. Incidentally, my friend would like to thank you also.